I'm in two minds about whether to put up the next video at all. And given the situation, all I'm going to do is put up on screen the link to this controversy about Candace Owen has been demonetized. Uh, I'm not even going to go into great detail about it because I suspect I'd be attracting a strike too. But the whole thing strikes me as slightly overblown. Um, I'm familiar with the rabbi that she is mentioned in the article, and he's not exactly the most crazed figure in the world. Now, Kenya has made some, shall we say, inter interestingly odd and bizarre contributions to human knowledge in his conclusions about Jewish people. And his interview with Candice seems to have um, really put the cap on her sight. But it all seems, you know, if you want to quell her, the, the idea that the media is run by one group, that's certainly not really going down the right route for it. It's actually added fuel to the fire and will provoke a thousand and one anti-Semitic videos and anti-Semitic comments up and down every channel. <sighs> I will say, yeah, having Kanye appear on your, on your channel, um, if you're in that league of rarefied YouTube channels where you could get him on there in the first place, it's probably unwise because Kanye is akin to a bull in a china shop at the moment. And the man pl plainly would, couldn't say and do anything and cause a disaster. But let's see how all this works out. Before I end it, I'm going to share the page pouring on this and I'm going to share a link afterwards as I say I'm talking around it a bit because um, I don't want to go too far with what I have to say but here we go you can read that I'm sure yourself if I enlarge it there you go I'll end it on that and let people say what they have to say I'm you know yes YouTube is a private entity and sets its own rules but this you know, much as Candace Owens' politics are not to my taste, or it does leave a sour taste in my mouth the way this has been handled, I'd say.